You know, some of the highest paid graduate positions in the world are exclusively available to engineers. And as soon as you finish studying, you'll probably be making two, three, four times more than the average person. And along with that, you're respected, contributing to society, growing as a person every day and get to say you're an engineer for the rest of your life. But are those reasons enough to study engineering and should you be studying just for them? Well, guys, do you know which jobs have the highest suicide rates? No, it's not bin men or New Delhi janitors, for reasons I don't quite understand. But it's dentists, lawyers, vets, and pharmacists, and the people in society who by pretty much every standard are dominating at life. So why the hell do they kill themselves? Well, a large part of it comes down to the fact that many of them studied their chosen field for the acclaim and money that comes with it, and then when it dawns on them that they're going to spend the rest of their life doing something they aren't passionate about, and even though they're wealthy and respected, and have everything that society has told them they should want, they're miserable, and are filled with disillusionment, and what else do you do when you come to the conclusion that you have everything you ever wanted, and should be happy, but aren't? Well, obviously you're never going to be happy and so you log out of the matrix. And guys, the very idea that money will make you happy and that things will make you happy is a perpetuated lie sold by consumerism so that everyone buys more shit and the top 1% stay the top 1%. And you know, whenever I see someone with a nice car and a nice house, I don't think, man, that guy's winning at life. He must be so happy if only I was more like him. I think, well done on being a great consumer, you easily coerced sheep. Wealth doesn't remove a man's problems, it only changes them. But yes, yes, many students do study engineering for the money, and nearly every student I've known who has done that has dropped out or flunked out. Because this isn't like going to school or work for a few hours a day. This is life-consuming, disheartening, and if you aren't passionate and driven solely by your passion, you're going to be depressed, unmotivated, uninspired, and ruined every day. Because money is actually a pathetic incentive. You know, if you work at a top tier company, they never offer money as an added incentive to get an employee to do something outside their usual responsibilities. You know, maybe they want staff to try and solve a difficult problem in their own free time. And what they'll do is offer a tangible reward like an Xbox or a TV, but never money. Because they know money is a weak incentive and offering money just makes people feel like they're working on the weekend as opposed to trying to solve something to get a cool reward. And don't believe that the promise of wealth will be enough to keep you up at 3am trying to solve a dynamics problem because take it from me that unless you have a passion and interest for it, you'll be watching YouTube videos on how to tie a noose. Also, with regards to getting a job, times have changed. Not that long ago, having an engineering degree would have been all it took to get a good job and be competitive in the job scene, but not anymore. Companies realized a while ago that the best employees are the ones with a real passion, who have engineering-related hobbies, who do extracurricular activities, and it is so blatantly obvious if you aren't passionate about engineering that an interviewer will know as soon as they talk to you. So you will struggle to get a job, and if you do get a job, it will likely be a 9 to 5 grind sitting behind a desk bored out of your mind. But all is not lost. So you want to make some money, so you aren't studying the degree just because you're passionate. Well, you can develop your passion and balance out the scale. And I've said this before, but go watch some documentaries about great engineers and become passionate. Spending your time doing this will be a great investment, and I promise that you'll begin to see the beauty in engineering, and soon enough, the money won't be your main incentive. And guys, thank you for watching, and thank you for all the support lately. You're really awesome, and I wish I could interact with you more. Also, here is my move, Lucas, since you're the only one playing chess with me. But if anyone else wants to take part, leave a comment with your move. And also, thanks Dirty Shoe for requesting this video, and congrats on getting into college. See you guys soon.